So if you never want to get lost on the fretboard again, hang out to find out. If I put 100 guitarists in a room and I ask them to play a solo in A minor, I'm pretty sure they'd all start here. Because it's like putting on a comfortable pair of slippers. Everyone jumps there straight away. Why? Because it's just super easy, right? Should you be doing that every time? Well, if you want to sound like everybody else, yes. But if you want to add your own individual ideas to your style, you need to be able to find all the pentatonic positions instantly in any key. So we're going to look through all the pentatonic positions and how to find them straight away. Not thinking, you know, I know where position one is, then I'm going to two, then I'm going to three, then I'm going to four, then I'm going to five. Jump straight to four, jump straight to two, straight to three in any key, right? So we're going to do this with minor pentatonics. Now you know where position one is because you're seeing this root note. Yeah, if you're doing position one in C, for example, you'd just move here. If you're doing it in F, you'd move here. You're just following that reference note. Now let's do position five. You can see position five on the screen now in A minor, right? Position five, all you've got to do is take the same reference point, but go to the left of it instead of going to the right of it. So we go in here. All right, dead easy. So say we're doing position five in D. We find a D note and we go to the left of it. So our reference point for position one and position five is exactly the same note. You could use the, the high E string or the low E string, it doesn't, doesn't really matter, okay? And it's also helping us to define the tonality because we're seeing it from that root note. Now let's do position four. Now we're gonna do four before two and three because four is very much like position one but from the A string. So back to A minor, look at your screen. Position four is like this, but starting from the A string here, it's exactly the same notes, look. But our reference note is the A on the A string. Now when we get to the B string, we've got to jump up because the B string is tuned differently. So instead of getting this, we're getting this. Yeah, it's the same thing, just an octave higher. Then instead of getting this, we're getting this. Yeah, exactly the same thing. So think of position four, just like you would position one, but from the A string. But you've got a bit of a kink on that B string. We have to go up a fret, okay? So let's try position four from, where do you think, Big Jim? C minor, okay? Now I know that straight away because I'm just seeing that C note there. Next one, Big Jim, E flat, okay? I'm seeing this E flat note here. One more, Big Jim, F, okay? I'm seeing this F note here. Yeah, so now I can access position one, position five, position four in any key. Let's now do position two and position three. Now position two and three, we're gonna use one string as a reference point like we did on positions one and five. And we're gonna use the B string. And if you don't know the notes on your B string, this is a good time to learn them. Check out, I've got a video on learning all the notes on the fretboard. I'll link it at the end of this video. So if we're going to the key of A, if you look at your diagram now, we're gonna start with position three. I'm finding this A on the B string and position three is to the right of it. Okay, it's there. So I'm seeing that note and I'm just moving to the right of it. So that is my reference point. So call another one, Big Jim. E, position three in E. There's an E note there. And I'm just going to the right of it. Notice I, I try and finish on the tonics. I like to establish the, the tonality of what I'm using. Another one, Big Jim. B flat, okay, right. There's a B flat note there, right? I'm just going to the right of that. Go on, one more big Jim. D, right, there's a D note there and I'm going to the right of that. D, right, so finally we've got position two. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find that same reference point, which is here. Instead of going to the right of it, I'm going to the left of it. You can see it on your screen now. We've got this. 
right? So I'm seeing that note. So basically, my B string gives me the reference point for position two and position three. Position three to the right of it, position two to the left of it. What do we do, Big Jim? Position two in, so I'm seeing this F note here, and I'm just going to the left of it. Okay, other one, Big Jim, C. Okay, so I'm seeing this C note here, and I'm going to the left of it. Right. Now, this is also helpful when you're soloing because you're seeing that root note, you're centering it around the root note. It helps you establish that tonality. I might go to establish that C minor. Yeah. So starting from the C note, starting from the root note, with it's C in this case, is a really strong thing to do. Then what you want to do after you've got the hang of all that is to be able to just jump round at will, really. So you pick a position, let's say position four, then you pick a key, let's say E flat, and you should be able to jump straight to it. Then you pick another position, position two, and you do it in F, and you think F. Yeah, so I saw that E flat, that A string, E flat, then position two, the F, I saw that F there. So after a while, after a while of doing this, yeah, you can find these positions really, really quickly, right? But you've got to spend a bit of time with it. And then when you put a backing track on and it's in A minor, you might just go straight up to position four and then jump down to position two, position five, one, yeah? So you're going to create more interesting lines. It's a great way to visualize the fretboard using minor pentatonics and jump around at will. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon. There's loads of good stuff on there. I've put some new tiers on there. So really worth looking at that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That really helps the channel, those little likes and subscribe. So it just takes a second to click it. Catch you next time.